Hey, uh, YouTube, I'm finally back on here. I've been wanting to do this makeup. Sorry, bear with me. My camera's trying to escape. Um, I've been wanting to do this makeup review for a while. I've just been really, really busy. Um, I don't know if you follow me at all. You probably know that I actually also uh, vend at events and uh, Mirabelle's Menagerie. If you had a chance, go check it out. Um, I make a lot of stuff for my airship, which is Airship Ashanti, um, which is a steampunk group. And if you're interested in that, please go check out Airship Ashanti. Um, but I got a palette that I absolutely had fallen in love with. It's not new new, but it is new ish. Um, so I just want to do a real quick look and a real quick review and um, give you guys my rundown on the, I'm sure you probably heard about it, the Misunderstood palette. Huge Disney fan. When it came out, I knew I just had to have it. So um, I have been absolutely loving its performance. And also I got the, um, the ColourPop jelly which I am super super psyched about and um, it's just been absolutely amazing so let's get started um, I don't know how much editing I'm gonna do I'm sorry I know I say that a lot first off and foremost make sure you got a clean face and then usually I just get a nice good wipe down and then moisturize As you can see, I got much better lighting going on. <sighs> Actually, I've had the good lighting up for a while. I just haven't been able to make it up and do the video. All right, let's also get my bangs out of the way. Another product. Hold on. Another product I'm going to be using in here is one that I actually watch. Oh, that's that's attractive. Um, I actually watch YouTuber Nady. Uh, Pop Lux and um, absolutely amazing channel and this was a recommended uh, foundation from that channel and I must say it is absolutely excellent. Now when I was in Illinois with some family stuff I happened to be out in the sun a ton so this color is probably not going to match me. I don't know how it's going to pick up on the camera but I promise you this is it, it makes me look really really ghostly right now because I do have a tan and this is not a tan so um, other than the color match the coverage has been really nice it's not been sticking to any of my dry spots um, I have a lot of problems with face rashes um, I have a lot of allergies so my skin is always very 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 temperamental all right now that I have cleansed and I use sea breeze oil or sea breeze astringent to clean give my face a real quick clean clean because I've been sweating a little bit today I did wash earlier and then I'm using Sally Henson Bamboo Charcoal Hydrating Jelly. Don't forget your decolletage. Um, get a real nice. You don't want your face to be like so moist that the makeup doesn't stick, but and there are a lot of different moisturizers out there specifically for putting makeup on, and I will be using a primer today as well face needed that. Whew. Hope everybody else has been doing really well. No, nope. my life has gotten crazy. I feel like that's the trend nowadays right now is life just is like, I just feel like kicking it. Oh, I had uh, rags down at the bottom of that. Um, just feels like kicking everybody's butts here lately. Uh, hopefully everybody who watches is doing well or recovering from whatever life decided to kick their direction. All right, Whew, let that sink in for a minute and I'll go over some products that we're gonna be using today. This is going to be the foundation that I was just talking about. It's Uma Beauty. It is a independent beauty brand and you can get them at Ulta. And like I said, I have been really enjoying this because you can go from like a light coverage to a heavier coverage. And I don't like having like the cakey look on my face, which is really hard to not achieve because Again, I have a lot of roughness, like um, like I said, I have allergies, a lot of roughness, a lot of skin irritation, and I also have redness. So the different caps actually encompass different, not just skin tone, but skin undertone. So this one is to help with the pinkness, because I have issues with rosacea on the face, like I said. Um, 
So that is the foundation we're going to be using today. Um, we are going to be using the Too Faced Cooling Matte Perfect Primer. Then, whew, trying to decide which colors we're going to do today, but um, we'll just wing it. I use Lassational Waterproof. This stuff is bulletproof. Like, I have like ugly cried in it. It is inexpensive. You can get it at the dollar store. I highly recommend it. Now, if you want a little more, I don't need it because I have like double set eyelashes. It's, I know it's really weird, but they're super thick on their own. Um, but if you want extra coverage, you do have to layer on this. Or one of the things I also do is take it like a uh, uh, more va va voom uh, mascara and then put this over it. It's not as bulletproof doing it that way, but it is still, the stuff is pretty good. So I definitely recommend that. And then for the eyes today, we're going to be using MAC Prime and Prep. This stuff's actually pretty good. I'm not sure if I'm quite in love with it. I got it in a sample box and we'll see. Jury's still out on that one. Um, for my eyeliner, I use Stila Waterproof All Day Liner. That stuff is also the bomb. It has stayed on through many, many cosplays and like face dripping down um, into your kachur and all that good googly gob. So. Um, I highly recommend, that, highly recommend that. The palettes we're going to be going into today is Misunderstood, um, Kat Von D, uh, Alchemist. I'm still in love with this palette. Um, for the money, it's been great. I've only like almost panned on one, so it lasts for quite a while. And then, uh, like I said, we're going to be using ColourPop. Plus, I also purchased this at a convention from a local... Um, Oh, I can never remember her name. Uh, Diesel Fairy. So go check Diesel Fairy out. This stuff is amazing. So and sometimes in daily life, I like to have highlighter. Now I broke mine, but um, this is a very very pretty highlight. Um, it's a more fleshy tone, like my kind of fleshy tone, not like fleshy fleshy tone, but um, so it's a subtler, almost like a glow. So I have really been enjoying that. So go check out Diesel Fairy. She has a shop, I believe, online. I think she's on Etsy, but I know she's on Facebook. Um, so we'll probably do that for highlight today. I use MAC Powder. Um, this is the, uh, whoop, that is the empty one. Uh, Light Mineral Skin Finish Powder. I use NYX HD Concealer. And I think that is pretty much what's hopefully going to be on the face. If I add anything along the way, I will let you know what actually I'm already going to add. I have also been trying out these uh, perfection drops. They're supposed to like highlight a little bit more. So just drop, drop. So my cheekbones go BAM and smack you in the face because I need that. I have a rather round face. Which, even though I'm a little chunky monkey, um, having a round face can, like, regardless of what weight I've ever been, I've always had a little bit of a, the round face-ish does this. Get a little, little waddle. Little waddle waddle. Alright. Serum on. Primer. Now, I just dab a little bit onto my hand. And I don't always prime my whole entire face. Usually I just prime the areas where I know I have, I'm prone to have, um, issues. Oh, please excuse my eyebrows. I was cutting my own bangs and I shaved my eyebrows a little bit accidentally. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes if you're like really tired, you probably shouldn't be operating a razor on your head because you never know what you're going to get. All right. Woo. That's on. Now I'm probably just going to rub that into my hand so I can show you swatches. So we do have a primer down. All right. So next eye primer. Oh no, this is like too bright. We warmed up. There, try that. Um, so you get more true of a color. As you know, like whenever you're doing, if you've ever done camera work of any kind, 
Um, a lot of times the color doesn't show like true to you're going to be seeing something different than I am so all right eye primer on little dab does it with the eye primer and while that's all sinking into the face we will go ahead and go into swatches so first row we're gonna do no spots, mongrels, Diablo, devious, and tragic. I am not applying a whole lot of pressure either. And the only finger I got left is my thumb. All right, so that is the first line. And yes, those metallics actually do that look that metallic. I, like I said, am so impressed. I was a little bit worried because of the price point because this is not an expensive shadow, but I mean, just look at that. Alright, next, this is a, one of those uh, beauty rags, you just get a little bit wet and then wipe down. Uh, water, a little mar micellar, mar blah, 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 blah. micellar water. I guess I could be smart and do it this a completely different way and like try to do as many as I can so I'm not having to continuously repeat. Put down some more primer. And I'm gonna do this side of my arm this time so I can see a little bit better. I mean I'm not hairy by any means, but I have veins and scars on that side. Alright, next line is Underworld, Pain and Panic, Forest of Thorns, Flotsam and the fates. These are just really, really pretty. I love the purple, but it, it does look a little patchy swatching, but I haven't had any performance issues on my eyes yet, and I've gotten in the purple quite a bit. Right. Oh, wait. Yeah. Um, I guess I could just do the other side. Whatever. We're just going to... We're winging it, and it is like 4 a.m. I haven't slept yet. Still having sleeping issues. Um, shocker. All right, next round is Revenge, Sing, Jetsam, Facilier, and 101. No, I'm not flipping it off. Sorry. Look at how deep that is. It's just gorgeous. You know what, I'm just gonna wipe my hands off so I don't have to use my thumb. Cause I wanna do that one again. Choo, 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 choo. And then, 101. I didn't get a lot of kickback. There is, as you just probably saw, a little bit of kickback, but not bad. Focus. There we go. There we go. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, those are picking up quite nicely. This one's a little patchy, but I didn't get a very good swatch on it. And again, these actually don't show up very patchy on the eyes. They are just as pretty as you are seeing them here. There we go. So for the money, yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. No question in my mind would I purchase this palette. No regrets whatsoever. And I have reached it for it a lot because it is a very versatile palette. It's got... You got you could do kind of a neutral look but again it does have a lot of shimmers so if you don't like shimmers this might not be the palette for you but I definitely quite haven't enjoyed it quite a lot but I really love shimmery all right let's get into this all right so what I usually do after I get my eye primer on oh yeah there is one more palette I use regularly there it is. Uh, peanut butter and jelly palette one of my favorite palettes by Too Faced, as you can see, I've almost panned on here because this is what I usually use as a base. <laughs> what do I do with all my brushes? I just got, like I said, I just, I've been traveling a lot and I just got back and I have no idea what where all my stuff's in. At, okay, there's a fluffy brush. Just get a nice fluffy brush. It in a nice base. <gasps> Excuse me. And I have a birthmark. My eyes look red right through here. So I gotta cover that baby up. Well, I don't have to. Most of the time I don't, but today I'm going to. Do, 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 Right. Got a nice starter base on that. And I love these because, yes, they do smell. They smell like chocolate. If you don't like chocolate, you aren't going to like that, but I love it. And it's not like the smell is overpowering. It's just, I can actually kind of smell it throughout the day if I use like um, the uh, sweet and soft on my cheeks. Actually, let's do that. All right. Let's see. I've got my rainbow dress on. So let us do what color should we pick? <laughs> oh, yeah, I wanted to use this, so let's see, blue, green, <laughs> let's do green and black, shall we, because I really love the green, green and black it is, so, because there's two different greens in here, so I won't have to reach for another palette, and the green on this is probably just going to be for, because it's a shift, it's like an emerald shift, you'll see, hopefully. Hopefully it'll pick up on camera. It's for brow bone and inner corner. So this coming weekend, if anybody is in Cincinnati, um, is going to be midsummers. So it's going to be at the uh, Cincinnati State Fairgrounds. If you're around, go check it out. It should be a lot of fun. Yeah, you can't really even see the shift on this, but the shift is absolutely gorgeous. Um, the Alchemist palette. I know a lot of people have feelings about Kat Von D right now, but um, the palette itself, the product itself, is actually a really good product. <laughs> so I have a green, a white base, a green shift. Now let's go into the actual color. I'm gonna get a fluff brush, and there's two greens in here. There is Diablo and Facilier. So I'm gonna go Diablo all over the lid, and then Facilier like in the outer crease into here, and then do a little bit of black here on the edge. I think that's what I'm gonna do. And may I add, and you actually know because you've been sitting here watching me, maybe. Um, I did not put any kind of glitter glue down. This is just a powder, powder base, and this is a metallic. The brush is not wet. And it's still, it's not giving off a lot of kickback. It's still very, very metallic, even without foiling. So, again, I'm very, very, very pleased with this. The, the hype is 
totally not just hype. It's not bull. It's it's pretty true. Let's try changing the color. Yeah, I don't think the camera is going to do this justice, but it is very metallic. It's not like a shimmery, like, sparkle metallic either. It's like a true metallic. So, at the end of this, I hopefully, I'm still not very tech savvy about a lot of stuff, so... Um, I'm going to try to take a picture, so if you'd like to see what this looks like in like, more natural lighting, I'll probably take a picture um, once the sun comes up and post it. That way you can see it like actual natural light, because of course right now since it's like 4.30 a.m., there is no natural light to be had. And although you can see this is a very vibrant color, um, it's still, it, you, the metallic's not even picking up how beautiful this is. <laughs> you know what? I don't even think we're going to need the black. I think we're just going to do two colors and then dab on the metallic. Now, this one does have a tiny amount of fallout because this one's got a little bit more, I think, glitter in it than the other one. So I might suggest foiling this one because this one's kind of like a sheer shimmer shade and it goes better over stuff. But it's still it's doing the job. So once I get this color packed on, clean brush that just fell, <laughs> fell apart. Oops, something else fell. I have no idea what. Ah. All right, yep. So that's broke. Uh, good to know. Uh, clean fluff brush to kind of less harsh in it, kind of. Smoke it out. This is a super simple look, you guys. Anybody can do this. There we go. A little bit of a wang, because I like wings. So we got a limey green, then we got this darker green. And it's re it is reading very dark on the camera, but it's a lot more green in... Um, in person. So I'm going to pack a little bit more like thicker right here. And actually I may uh, foil the brush on this one. So foiling basically all it is is wetting the brush to give a more metallic effect or more um, in this particular case give it a little bit of something to kind of stick to. Pack it down. There we go. All right. Oh, I didn't think that all the way through. Yeah, I did. Okay, so this is some of the jelly. And I definitely want to show you these jellies because these are like crazy out of this world. Um, never worked with jellies before, so I'm super, super happy that these came out with it. There's not really a greeny greeny one. There's a light greeny, which again, I probably should just swatch these for you guys so you can see them. Cause yeah, oh yeah, that's picking up the reflect, but it is it is just as reflective as what it looks like. But at any rate, so we'll take the metallic gel. And just pop that in the center. Give it a little extra sparkle. There we go. That I think is pretty. Do, 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 do. <laughs> now I have smaller eyes so typically I will use a white eyeliner on the um, waterline down there um, again I'm not really sure where all my stuff is at 
Very, I don't even know where my eyeliner eyeliner is at, to tell you the honest truth. Um, so I may just use, my goodness, I have, I really honestly should have organized this before starting the video, huh? <laughs> Oops. Um, where is my eyeliner? <laughs> Huh. Well, well, with the wing that I did, I really don't need eyeliner for this look, but ah, there's the white, and there's the Stila. <laughs> All right, wait on the bottom. Kind of helps your eyes look a little bit bigger. Don't pull on your eyes. I don't suggest it. It's just what I do. I know it's bad. I'm going to have bags, but it's all right. Uh, uh, uh. I gently, gently do it. I don't like by any means go in like harsh about it. But you, in general, you shouldn't do it anyway. All right. Eyeliner. And like I said, this is a Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Eyeliner. It is not cheap, cheap, but it's not like the most expensive eyeliner out there. It's kind of mid range. I've been looking for a less expensive alternative. Haven't run across any that have the stay power yet. Let's do a really simple wing. And this one's tip's broken. I forgot about that. So the felt tip on this got broken. So it's actually fat now. So it's a little harder to get the precision. But it's alright. Yeah, I'm all like, let's do a thin wing. And then once I do a thin one, the other one, I'm like, Psh. wing city. All right, we're brushing this fallout out. And then, you know what? What should we do? Oh, yeah. Don't I have a pretty eye on a face? Okay. Yours. Yours. Pretty. Alright. Here we go. Um. I wonder. Oh yeah. Lips. This. Also. Same thing. These are really, really nice lipstick tubes. Um. This may look a little funky with the grain, but. What do you think? Weird. <laughs> yeah, that was a really sloppy application, but you get the point. I just wanted to see the color. This is, um, Ursula. Wow, this is definitely a vampy look. Definitely should align my lips. All right, cue the drop. All right, <laughs> I get goofy at late at night sometimes. It's just be forewarned. All right, now let's cover up some of this redness. Oh my beauty! I just pump a pump, pump two pumps on my hand. Do, 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 do. Beauty blender. Um, usually I just spritz it if I'm not having a dry day. With um, I use Max Fix It. I love Max Fix It. Max Prime. I've been using that since I can, since I got my hands on a bottle. You are gonna, by the way, see such a huge difference. Again, this stuff I am super impressed with. I. Cannot recommend it enough because you can see how pink this is over here. 
this tones it down like nobody's business. Again, pardon the fact that it's like 10 shades too light right now because, yeah, I went and got a tan. Because my family is outdoorsy for our staying mode and they're trying to cook me. It worked. I got cooked pretty good. Look at that. It is, I mean, I still have a ton left. Uma Beauty. And it's not, again, it's kind of mid-range price, I would call it, for foundation. It's a little more expensive than drugstore. But it's not, oh, and I haven't done any contouring or anything. I'm probably not going to because, again, this is just, like, a quick, I wanted to show you guys this palette. And, like, if you do not have it, you need to get your hands on it. Air conditioner just kicked on. So it might get loud, I apologize. Yeah, look at that. Remember to blend down your neck, especially if you don't have the right color right now. Because, you know, it happens to all of us. And I personally don't have the extra money to buy, like, four different colors of um, foundation just so I can have whatever color that some changes me or whatnot on hand. And I just got a lid. Oh, that's not the lid. Oh, yeah, that's what fell earlier. Woohoo. All right. So, this is just one um, time over the face. This is two pumps. I still have more than enough. So, if I wanted, like, even more coverage than this. Because this, you can still see my skin underneath, but it, like, tones down the redness quite a bit. So, if I wanted to go, like, glam, I can by just making another coat. Look at that. And it still doesn't really look masky. It just looks like flawless. And again, not all products work for everybody. Everybody has different skin type. This might not work for you. I don't know. But I can tell you I have definitely been enjoying it. I wish there was some way to like check some products out and like... Well, actually there is a return policy. So, I mean, I guess if it doesn't work for you, you can always return. All right, there we go. I mean, crazy, right? my skin was so red and now it's like flawless like airbrush flawless oh again Ooh, look at the metallic Whoop. now I sweat you wouldn't necessarily have to I don't think put powder with this but I sweat so I like to use a little bit of MAC powder oh I forgot to do concealer that's okay because again this stuff is kind of amazing I'm not planning on going out in public right away, so it's fine. There we go. What do you think? Pretty awesome. Again, I am like vampire weight right now. Ugh, this is not much. <laughs> this is insane. Like, I'm I'm normally actually pretty light colored like this. Like, I'm like translucent, as you can see, this matches. But like, I got such a crazy tan that it just does not match. <laughs> but other than the color mismatch, which I might just have to take a little bit of my old. Um, primer or old foundation and bloop bloop just a couple drops and see if they play together well but yeah what do you guys think oh yeah the other thing that was in this pack was do I look like I care NC3 glittery obsession body glitter this stuff's pretty awesome also if you're a glitter fan I highly recommend what should we do with it
There we go. Let's just get crazy. Get crazy with it. Get myself glitter brows. There we go. And glitter dandruff now. <laughs> but yeah, what do you think? What do you think? Yes, yes. Um, so yeah, that is my review of this palette. And a kind of look, just a little throw together. This is already a long video. I'm very sorry, it's 35 minutes long. So let's see if anybody actually watches it. Um, I'm probably not gonna edit. So hopefully all of you stay to the end. If not, um, thank you for checking in. Thank you for watching and supporting anyway. And don't forget to hit the like button. And if you'd like to know when I put up, cause here lately I have not been putting up much, please hit the bell button. And yeah, I hope everybody is having a good Yep, morning. And uh, I hope you somewhat enjoyed or this was somewhat inform informational. This is feathering a little bit. But again, I didn't put anything on my lips. I didn't scrub them. I didn't get them prepped for lipstick. But I do quite enjoy this lipstick as well. So, hope everybody is having a really great morning. Love you all. Bye.